Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Dupacolor Garage. My name is Brian. I'm Sophia. And we are working on the 1971 Honda CB350 motorcycle build, which is actually a Cafe Inspire build that we have going on here in the garage. And we have the seat of the motorcycle sitting here. And I'll tell you what, for being in 1971, this seat is in excellent condition. And we did take it to a local upholstery shop where we had them remove some of the original foam a few inches because the seat was extremely tall and it does not match the, uh, the overall cafe inspired theme that we have here. So removing that foam gave it a little bit of a lower profile look. Yeah, I think what you said earlier, this is in great condition for being a seat over 50 years old, but I have a question. Why are we using our vinyl spray then to go over it? No, that's a really good question. So originally there was a handle that went across here and there was a little bit of a color contrast, some fading going on. So what this will do is it'll give it a good overall clean look really black it out to match the uh, freshly painted bike. Makes sense, all right. But I also noticed on the underside, it's a little rusted out. So we're probably gonna take our engine paint, right? Yep. And then we're gonna give it a good coat, scuff it first, and make sure that we're giving it good durability in. Yep, right for the exactly. Yeah, and you know, we wanted to uh, retain the original seat. We were gonna put an aftermarket seat on it, but considering the seat does flip up so you can access the battery and other components of the bike, we wanted to keep that original frame. So it's perfect to use our products to refinish it. Awesome. All right, well, let's grab the foaming prep spray. We'll get this wiped down and cleaned up. Okay. All right, Sophia just finished painting the bottom side of the seat with the engine paint and it really came out nice. Uh, everything is good and uniform underneath here. So we're good and ready to flip it over to the top side. And the first step is gonna be wiping this down with the foaming prep spray and that will remove any uh, dirt, uh, oils, because we've touched the seat uh, time and time again uh, when getting it off the bike and of course when we painted the bottom side. So that'll get the, the surface good and clean and ready for the vinyl fabric spray. All right, we have the seat all finished up with the vinyl and fabric spray on the top. And on the bottom, we have the engine enamel. Now this looks excellent. Sophia did a really nice job sanding off that surface rust, prepping it and laying down the engine paint and things are looking real good. So there wasn't a true benefit or advantage of using the engine paint. Now it is good up to 500 degrees intermittently, but the seat is gonna get nowhere near that temperature. And the reason why we use the engine paint is just because of the satin sheen it provides and it'll, it'll go well with the rest of the theme of the bike. Now for the top side, can you believe this is over 50 years old? Honestly, it looks brand new. Yeah, I mean, it looks awesome. It looks like it was just finished yesterday, right? Right. It was with vinyl and fabric spray, right? Mm -hmm. So this is gonna provide UV protection and also a lot of flexibility because that vinyl and fabric spray has that bond directly to the vinyl, has an adhesion promoter as part of the formula. So it's gonna to bond to that old vinyl and give it that flexibility that it needs when you sit on it. So we're all ready to go, ready to put it on the bike. Yes, and don't forget, once this is on the bike and the bike is all back together, you have a chance to win it. So follow along on our socials and check out duplicolor.com for more information on how to enter. Speaking of duplicolor.com, visit our website to find out more information about these products and other great products from Duplicolor. <laughs>